Now we're down to something very personal in, in respect to what each of us as players um, perform our substitutions for the chords that we're playing in, such as a chord, let's say, like this. Or a chord like this. Or even more simplistic, a chord like this. I have always been prone to ap appreciate one type of form more than any other, and that's been the minor form, which again, of course, came from this parental form, the, the triad, the augmented triad. And it was in ascent, the creation of a, of, of a, uh, a relative minor. So that when I, I think of a chord, I think of the inversion and the literally the way it looks. For instance, if I saw a chord like this, it's a B minor 7th flat 5 chord. I don't see it as that. I see it as what it contains. These three notes are stronger than the, corp the incorporation of four. This is a D minor triad. It came from this augmented form. D minor over B. Therefore, if I were to play against a D minor chord, it fits like a glove. Not only that, if I were to take, for instance, let's talk about the diminished chord now. If I were to take this diminished chord, let me move it up a half step. And I lower the, the G sharp to a G natural. I now have a G seventh. The blues in the key of G. What I play against on this cluster came from this. Watch what happens here. If I take this form here, this diminished chord in G, and I move it up to the next fingering on the next set with the same fingers, and I move that up to a diminished, and I then take the diminished chord, and instead of, instead of uh, lowering a tone to a dominant seventh, I raise a tone to a minor seven flat five. Here's a, a C minor seven flat five. Let's move it down a half step to a B minor seven flat five over G. And there's the blues again. So this, this D minor triad is right at the top of it. And it could be seen in, in quite a number of its inversion uh, likewise. So let's begin to think about that. And now I'm going to take uh, substitutions for certain forms. That's one of the substitutions, a D minor over G is what I would use for all of the, what I would refer to as the consonant chord forms in the key of G. That would be like a G9, a G7, a G13, a G11. And then I would use dissonant forms such as a G, G7 sharp 9. Uh, a half step up instead of down, which gives me a G sharp minor.
and that would be this. I take off the, the, the root, I take off the seventh, I take off, uh, I take off the B flat in, in this, which is uh, the third, the minor third. And what's left is this. It's a G7 sharp five, or if you'd like to call it a flat 13. Flat nine. For dissonance, I take off the root, the seventh, here's the third, the flat 13 and the flat nine. What's left when I take the root and the seventh out is A flat minor or G sharp minor as a triad. So like I did with, with, with uh, the consonant set of dominant seventh chords like G seventh and I use D minor. Now I use for these forms G sharp minor because that's part of the formation itself. Mm -hmm. 